Well, hey, everybody, welcome back to the dojo right here on Rage Select. I'm Optimus Jeff. And I'm Matt Lockamus Prime. No, dude, you had it. It was It's Matatron. Ma oh, got it. Right? Okay. You know, I was thinking about Grimlock. Yeah. Uh, as I do most days. So um, I. Uh, Matatron. We're playing Transformers, whichever one this is. Um, Battlegrounds. <laughs> Battlegrounds. And uh, actually, I've been thinking, Matt, that I think it's possible that it's not. Yeah. Uh, the game is telling us, like, quit trying to kill everybody. You can't kill all of them. I'm starting to wonder oh. whether the problem, uh, not problem, but uh, that the thing with this game might just be that we're, that I'm not reading or following any of the directions. Not that it's, like, hard. Yeah, just I was going <laughs> to say, I think that's what really tripped us up last time. Wait, can he move further? Can you move further? No, no, you're done. And uh, Bumblebee, you're Beam. done. Everybody's done. Okay. <laughs> So we're just gonna we're running for to the exit. What Decepticons? Wait, he just ran into that car. Yeah, apparently <laughs> just oh, rear into that car. Yep. You gotta stop. You gotta give your insurance information to the, the <laughs> humans there. Oh my goodness, oh, we need to get the fuck good. out of we here. We need to get out of here. Uh, all right, so let's go for broke. We uh, were talking about the. Um, we were talking jump, about. Jump, 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 I like you can jump over the other characters. We were talking about the Michael Bay Transformers movies. Can I like? Uh, during the break. Yeah. And. How do I you, attack with this thing? You just reminded me of the stupid ass fifth movie. Uh huh. And how. They had to forget that the Dinobots existed. Yep. Because at one point they're fighting the Decepticons. Oh, no, goddamn. And they're, you know, the Decepticons are going to kill them. Right. They're, they're going to lose. The, the Autobots are going to lose. And then Grimlock shows up and kicks the shit out of all the Decepticons, and the Decepticons retreat. Mm -hmm. And then for the rest of the movie, they're like, well, we can't bring the Dinobots back because the Dinobots just. But we won't address it, though. Yeah. Well, of course oh, not. Oh, we just headbutt you. Yep. I, I, Bumblebee might get killed. I didn't read the directions. Bee! Uh, Beebers. Yeah, uh, insert Shia LaBeouf screaming, Bumblebee! 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 <laughs> Bumblebee! <laughs> yep. There we go. Okay. Oh, then they all just disappeared. All right, cool. Phew. Easy. My nav systems are flawless. Yeah. <laughs> 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 meow, meow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like his face. Oh, yeah. His face makes me happy. Bee, heads up. I mean, somebody, like, put a pretty fair amount of work into this game. Like, yeah. um, you know, like, I don't know if these are the voice actors from the show, but it, it sounds like it. Sounds like, oh, oh shit. Oh, oh, wait, he's going to do it? Is wait, he going to take it? Wait. Do the voice. Ah, come on. Yeah, he's got a... He, More he doesn't robot. Have the, he doesn't have that pure robot sound. Like, yeah. We fight together. <laughs> yeah. I like the way that your uh, sound wave... Uh, uh, just talk through my teeth. Is, yeah, just basically just to, like, uh, talk talk through your teeth. Talk through your teeth. Okay, so... Sound wave superior, constructicons uh, inferior. Who you call it inferior? No one would follow an uncharismatic <laughs> boar like you. That's hey, nobody calls sound wave uncharismatic. Yeah, let's... What did he say? Let's kick tail fin or something? Something like that. I've seen that movie way too many oh, times. That movie is so fucking good. Uh, yeah. Uh, I, I, I might have to go. It's like, uh, I, I should tell you that, like, that is one of, like, I think two movies that I own on, like, Google Play that I, like, bought uh, oh, nice. on, okay. on the service. Um, um, I was actually just thinking, uh, Matt, that we need to start uh, cultivating a real, like, hot rod and cup uh, uh, dynamic between the two of us. Oh, because yeah. Because I'm a pretty cranky old old guy at this yeah. point. So I'm, I'm youthful and exuberant. Yeah, you could just be like, no, you don't make a Tron. And I'll be like, get back, kid. Let's prime fight. fight. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm like, no, no, you don't make it good. Matt always wants to fish, you know, and yeah. I'm just trying to, like, build a road. Uh what is this? Okay, whatever that is, do it. I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna drive around to the tune of Beow. Dare. Yeah. Um, I mean that's for everybody. Yeah, like you don't have to be a, a a young punk, uh, a turbo rod and young punk in order to drive around to turbo, Stan Bush. Turbo rod or turbo revin? Turbo revin young punk. I think it's rod. I'll straighten you out yet. <laughs> I love. Punk. Welcome to part two. Are we? Quote Transformers the movie for <laughs> fucking 30 minutes. We should do a gigantic cast commentary <laughs> of Trans <laughs> Transformers the Marvel. Yeah, I mean, I, I kind of I got a lot of it out of my system on that uh, junk food cinema uh, that oh, I did. Oh, cool, okay. Because uh, that was like the one time I was on junk food cinema outside of when I 
my spirited defense of the uh, Chronicles of Riddick movie <laughs> that I just did. But uh, I'm, I'm hoping I can get on a junk food yeah. cinema and yell about kaiju movies at some point. Yeah. yeah. Um, I mean, you know me, man. You put enough re- uh, White Claw in me. Or Red Bull, or both. Yeah, both. Red Claw, White Bull, you yeah, know. Yeah, Take your pick. Mix uh, them together in a big jug. Yeah, yeah, put them together in a big old jug. Um, oh, my God, that sounds like it would stop your heart cold. <laughs> yeah, that would not be good. White Claw and Red Bull? Oh, good God. Lord Almighty. See, I Wait, like both ooh. of those things, but not together. Hey, check that um, out. Fury Fr- Charge. Yeah. Do it. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm wondering if... Uh, if um, I guess the their like ults are slightly different because I saw in the trailer like there was a move in the trailer where Optimus Prime like drove up, rammed one person, and then like hit everybody else. Wait, oh, that didn't even take my turn. Fuck, so I can just like okay, shoot this yeah, guy? Yeah, shoot that motherfucker. Okay, shoot him. Oh, yeah, cool. Okay, did you shoot him out of his mouth? Yeah, he just went pew. He didn't use the like the flamethrower. He just used the zappy zap. All right, Soundwave, come on! I got all your dumb. Your dumb bitches are dead. I, I killed off all your dumb row bitches. Uh, yes, I'm gonna. I'm sticking with it. There's a. There's some. Yes, uh, I was gonna Wee. say. Good for you. There's a. There is an episode of this show where oh, they show Soundwave oh, how Soundwave got to meet. Uh, he basically wrangled and tamed Laserbeak. Because uh-huh. Laserbeak was like a, a, na- a part of a native species, a Cybertron of like <laughs> robot cassette birds. <laughs> sure. <laughs> oh, damn. Like you do. Like you uh, do. Like you do. Um. <laughs> uh, they- I like the AI in this where they just run out, do one attack, and then run away. Yes. Um, um, oh, okay. I shouldn't stand next to that. That is exploding cover. It's explode. And I can't reach him around that corner nope. anyway. But I can do this. Moving attack, anchor, and disarm. But, like, I don't know how to hit him. Like, do they have to be... You have to drive just right past him? See, but it doesn't, like, show that I'm hitting him. I don't know. I don't know how this works. I don't know. I don't think I'm hitting him. So, uh, let's see. Me, Grimlock, say... uh, We on our way. Go fuck yourself. Uh, No, uh, what was I... Oh, man, I just was was thinking about something. Um, Um, Transformers, the movie... Yay. Um, what the fuck was I just thinking about, Matt? I don't know. Matt, what was I thinking about? I don't know. Stop yelling at me. <laughs> um, there um, uh, uh, Hasbro is putting out some, like, in addition to them putting out some new Beast Wars toys, which I'm very excited about. Yeah. They are putting out some, Can like, up on top of these buildings? movie edition new versions of characters from the 1986 movie. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Like, they're doing a new Grimlock that looks like the G1 Grimlock, Mm -hmm. and he comes with a little wheelie that sits on his back. Okay. Which I'm like, oh, my God, give it to me now. And I think they're doing Cyclonus and Scourge, too. I hate wheelies so much. Whoa! Oh, Joe! Whoa! Oh, yeah, the sound wave has, like, actual, like, sound attacks. Okay. Um, Let's see. What can I do here? What do I got? What do I got the range for? Where is he? Oh, he's he's way the fuck over there. Okay. Um, kind of maybe. It's too far. It's too far, Matt. <laughs> God, All too right. far. Okay. I need okay. a healer. Uh, Heads up, one bite. Ultimate ready. Oh, is your oh. ultimate ready? Oh yeah, it's that thing. I can't figure out how to make it work. Like, oh, is that? No. Is that it? Can you select him? It says anchor and disarm. No, but like whenever I bring it up, it won't let me like. Um, it won't let me like <sighs> select. I mean, I guess try it. See what happens. Is that? Try that. Wait, hold on. Um, this? Yeah, I guess. Moving attack, anchor, and disarm. I'm okay. Is that? Did I do it? circuits offline. Oh, okay. I guess he did. He yeah. did. He did do it offline. Um, okay, now bite him. Bite, bite him, him with on. your face hole. Bite him with your dinosaur. Bite him like a dinosaur. Yeah. Come, 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 come. All right, now. Fire bad! Blast. Blast him? How do I blast Me him? Grimlock want to munch metal. Oh, what the hell was I going to ask you? I don't know. Was, was it about the movie? I don't know. I can't remember. Um, I can't remember. Okay, I, I, okay. I, I, I cannot remember. Transformers so. movies, Transformers comics, Transformers toys. Yeah. I, oh, did he leave? Okay. No, we got hey. him. Oh, okay. Okay. Courageous, but futile. I don't like this sound wave. 
He's a little scarier, I think. What's with his arms? I don't know if I like the like weird big beefy arms. No, they're like the weird like red smiley faces on his uh, arms. I don't know. I mean, it's a it's a it's a redesign of the original, obviously, but hmm. yeah. Teletranx, track sound wave. Wait, is Teletran X still carrying our character yes, around? Yes, I forgot about that. <laughs> <laughs> Can I come down? Can you guys have this thing pick up a no. seat? Megatron? Yes. That's just it. Megatron's not leading the offensive. He's not even in the city. Uh-oh. He's hunting Optimus and the Allspark. All right. Well, we're distracted protecting these primitive hominids. Uh, no hey, who you calling a hominid? <laughs> Whoever's in charge. If we take them down, the rest will scatter. Uh, I think it would be Soundwave. Oh, I know I was going to ask you. Okay, did okay. you did you end up ever watching that the Netflix show? Oh, I watched a little oh of it. Oh, oh whoa, the, whoa, whoa, whoa. What the fuck whoa. is all that? Wheeljack's Lab. All right, let's go to Wheeljack's Lab. Yeah. Ability Scout Overwatch. Oh, yes, oh, yes, yes, okay. yes, yes, yes. All right, all right. Remember at the end of the last one where that guy shot at me? Yeah. Uh, that's what Overwatch does. You can convert unused stuff to... Like a uh, shoot anybody that okay. comes towards me. Oh yeah, I like so that. So we got brawler Overwatch, uh, suppressing fire. Suppressing fire. The precise shot, uh, with an exact chance to anchor the enemy. Stormfall, fire breath. Okay, well I can't really do anything else, but right. um, uh, earn more higher difficulties. Okay, sure. Um, uh no, I I watched a little of it. Okay. Uh didn't like I didn't care for it. I I watched like half the first episode and I wasn't really liking even just like the setup. Well, uh, everyone was really everyone's like growly and angry. Everyone nobody sounds the nobody sounds right. Yep. Everyone's growly and angry. Yep. Um Oh. Oh, there's It's done. Okay, that's fine. Okay. That's good. That's I like the Starscream voice. Yes. That's almost right. They just need a little bit more like robot filter uh -huh. on it. Well, that's shockwave. The city's conquered. I should be with the fleet. Does does Starscream have a little goatee? He's got a little goatee. Yeah. Does he have a little goatee? I love him. <laughs> Do you love Starscream? Wait, Starscream's awesome. Why? He's, he's a piece of shit. <laughs> he's a piece of shit. <laughs> yeah. Your genius. I know. That's ridiculous. You got snuck up oh, on by a dinosaur, dude. Yeah. Well. Bumblebee. Oh no. no! But what's Caminus? Caminus That's where they made Superboy, right? Yes. Caminus Labs? <laughs> uh, is it? Oh, it is, isn't it? It's Cadmus Labs. Ca oh, yeah, right. Yeah. Cadmus. Uh, Caminus. Come on. Get on, my, get on my DC page over here, Matt. No, I refuse. <laughs> I will stick with my Japanese transplanted robots. Um, and end the senseless destruction. Okay. I think we've heard enough. Uh, when, so Caminus is a is a colony world that Windblade came from. Like she's not from Cybertron; she's from Caminus. Okay. Yeah. Is this, is this a universe like in the movie where everything that's not Earth is also robots? Like Earth is like the one place where Goop became like people. No, no, uh, they, they've done some other stuff, but they they, they do like oh, they do show like shit. that there are other planets with what? like robots on them. But but Caminus is like a Cybertronian, specifically a Cybertronian colony. This is interesting, Matt. The um, the Overwatch replaced our basic attack. Oh, uh, strange. Okay. So it's like we have those slots down at the bottom and uh -huh. uh, we don't have like a regular attack anymore. <laughs> but I'm putting these two on both sides of this building. Uh, with Overwatch on, so hopefully when that Decepticon moves, um, it'll activate. Yes, uh, yeah, it'll pop, and then they'll get shot. There we like go. Like that. Bam. Oh, nice. Oh, and that disabled. Okay. Cool. Uh, you you one. going too? Bumblebee. <laughs> Boom. Oh, nice. So, all right. All right. Uh -oh. uh oh, yeah, that one did not disable. Ow, uh, they seem to be pretty generous with the hit points, though. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, well, there you, you go. Dongs, I hate these planes. <laughs> they just like run in, shoot, and then leave. Oh, don't, don't. Oh, you, d you dick. Dickhole. You cocky cock. <laughs> um, All right. You fool, you foolish fool. Get him. Let's em. see. Gonna move. And um, attack -o. Attack the yeah. robot. 
Uh, yeah, uh, I also heard some kind of distressing stuff uh, with regards to the voice acting in the Netflix series. Oh, really? Because apparently um, Frank Welker and Peter Cullen were like 100% down to do that series. Uh huh. But because they are union, they're union workers, Netflix doesn't like working with uh, the, the company. For whatever reason, the, the, the studio doing the uh, doing that series did not want anyone associated with unions. So they Why? got yeah, they just it's just their policy. They're like, we don't want anyone. God, we don't want fuck yeah. you that. Uh, and it was this, and it was, and that had something to do with the Bumblebee movie too, because uh, Peter Cullen um, had a really bad experience with the Bumblebee movie. Really? Uh, well, apparently, they, he was, it, was Optimus Prime in that movie. He's in the beginning. Oh, uh, yeah, oh yeah, yeah, when they're on Cybertron, like the yeah. very, very, very beginning. Okay. So apparently they only brought him in for one day because they didn't want to have to pay him any more than they absolutely had to. God, fuck you, airplane. And, and then they, what did they do? Then, so, oh, what was it? So they had someone else recording Optimus's line so they could match it with the animation and stuff. Okay. And apparently he, this person was not a voice actor, and they did it poorly. So... Peter Cullen had to come in and, like, try to fix it. And oh. he's really displeased with how the lines were read in the film. Huh. Yeah, like, he says that that is one of the worst line readings I've ever done. Good Lord. Okay. Yeah, it's really sad. And it's, it's you know, I mean, unfortunately, that is the state of the animation industry right now, is that everybody's trying to get around unions, trying not to use union labor. That sucks. Yeah. That's, that's some shitty... That's some shitty, shitty shit. That's some shitty shit that shit shit. Yep. All right, so we had a little bit of a technical problem, but we're back. Uh, I don't know if this is exactly where we where we, where we we uh, 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 stopped, but we're going to kick Star Scream's ass. Yes. So, you know, um, actually, I think this might be a little bit before. That's all right. I remember everything I did. I'm just going to okay. repeat everything I did before. All right. So, uh, all right, let's kill this guy. Fuck that guy. He's a big dick. <laughs> uh, I want to go to this, like dessert place over here yeah it, 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 it feels like there's there's that dessert place there's a burger place there's a coffee bar yeah i like the giant novelty food decorations Oops. in this town oh. it's kind of like the donut trucks in uh the halton game oh yeah yeah <laughs> let me decide how this works with the stinger drive okay uh because no. it, it, it worked earlier when you did it on Soundwave. yeah i don't think i how did it how does it work though you gotta drive past him you gotta drive past him. Yeah, like you gotta that? drive around him. Yeah. All right. Let's just give it a try. Oh, yep. he, see. Oh, he's got like little like uh, like Ben Hur yeah. Uh, yeah. spokes. Okay, I yeah, get it. Yeah, and it, it stuns them or disarms them or whatever. All there right. you go. There we go. Uh, okay, and then me Grimlock gonna go. Wait. Oh, is it just Starscream is the only other person that's left? Aside from that one seeker, I think. Okay. Can he? Can Grimlock? How far can Grimlock go? That, that, he might be able to still hit him from there. Jump, 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 jump. Oh, my so, yeah, uh, we kind of lost most of what we talked about after this. Yeah. Uh, I'm trying to remember everything that we were talking about. <laughs> like, uh, Good I mean, luck. Most of it was Transformers. <laughs> most um, of it was Transformers related. I remember I remember at one point I was just telling you about Transformers Prime. Mm -hmm. And why, wow. Ah! Stupid saw blade dick. Uh oh, there you go. Uh, well, well, and how Transformers Prime is like one, arguably the best of the Transformers series after the original show. Uh -huh. I mean, I always place Beast Wars pretty high on that, but that's mostly for the writing because Beast Wars animation is, you know, extremely primitive. Yeah, um, I mean, uh, all of all of you youngs that uh, youngs. Uh, all of you youngs right. love that Beast Wars, and it's kind of like Babylon Five, where like I kind of wish that I could give it a try, but man, is it fucking rough! Like, yeah, I cannot get past how like I don't want to watch reboot again, Matt. <laughs> I don't uh, ever want to see it fair. again. That's fair. Uh, that's fair. I mean, well, that's the thing is, like, I keep saying, like, that that Hasbro should just 
put some if they really wanted to make some money without spending very much money, mm -hmm. do a remake of Beast Wars, just reanimate it. Yeah. And and it's like, like keep all the same uh, keep all the same voice acting and yeah. sound effects and everything. Oh, yeah. It's just like, yeah, if they just give it a little coat of paint. I wonder though, one of the things that I've been thinking about a lot recently has been the idea of like it was uh, we talked about it a little bit in part one uh -huh. about the idea of just like, whoa, what the fuck? Oh man. Whatever he's doing, it's like like damage effect. over time or something. Yeah. Um, uh, that's all right. We're just going to concentrate fire on <laughs> Starscream. Shit out of him. Yeah. Uh, um, like, are kids into Transformers oh, anymore? I would assume so. I oh, mean, shit. this this cartoon here is pretty popular. There's always Transformers toys on the on the shelves at, like, Target and Walmart and stuff. Yeah. I, I mean, they currently... They always have, like, multiple Transformers toy lines going at the same time. See, I just... I don't know what the kids like anymore. Well, uh, I don't either. Uh, so, for me, it's just... I, I don't know. Like, you know, you, you'd love to be like, they should remake that thing from when I was a kid. That was so cool. But, you know, I didn't want to watch Hanna-Barbera cartoons when I was a kid. Like... I mean, I wanted That's to. That's surprising because I loved them. Uh, I don't know. I liked them a little bit, and I mean, I like the Looney Tunes, but. That's that's for entirely different reasons. Because um, <laughs> it's funny. Uh, it's uh, I think it, I think they're funnier. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but like I don't know. I don't know what the kids are into these days. Or if they should just like basically say we're making we're gonna make some new Transformers shit like for nostalgia fueled adults. Like well, that's what we're gonna make this that's for. A, that's a huge part of their market now. Obviously. Oh, bam. That's a huge part of their market. Like they're not making these new Beast Wars toys for kids. Yeah. yeah. Although, okay. You just have to look at... You laugh at me. What? They, 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 you have to do, all you have to do is look at, like, what is Hasbro putting out right now? Yeah. So they have the Netflix series, which is obviously, like, older targeted. Right. The, I, the, the war one, the cyber... War for Cybertron, war which for Cybertron. I don't care for. Yeah. Um, they have this series that this game is based on, which is obviously targeted for younger... Targeted for much younger kids. Right. Uh, I think they still have Rescue Bots, which is targeted for even younger kids. Oh, my God. <laughs> I know. <laughs> and then there's the IDW comics, which are just for, like, weirdo comic book Transformers nerds. Wait, Matt, what about edgy teenagers? What are that's, the edgy a, that's, a war, that's a War for Cybertron show. Oh, that's is that edgy is, fucking teenagers. Is that what it is? Yes. I'm like, couldn't they make one where it's all, like, maybe they're all in school? Maybe it's, like, when they're young? Well, that's Rescue Bots. Is, oh, is that? No, no, I'm talking about, about is well, that, like, like, high school. High school, yeah. That was Transformers Prime. Okay. Because the kids in that one were in high school, even though it wasn't really about the kids, it was about the robots. Uh-huh. But it was also, like, super violent and super super dark okay that sounds like it's for like teenagers pr prime uh, not prime uh megatron megatron wants to use the star saber which can only be wielded by a prime so he he um <laughs> he violates the tomb of oh. one of the primes oh boy and cuts off the arm uh -huh. of an ancient prime and grafts it onto his own body even though he he asks this Decepticon medic, he's like, I want you to put this ancient Prime's arm onto my body. Uh -huh. And so the medic is like, all right, well, I'm going to induce stasis so you can't feel it. And he's like, no, I want to watch you do it. <laughs> okay, this sounds like it might be, uh, like, I was thinking more just like, they all have to go to high school to learn how to transform. No, that's Rescue Bots. Uh, like, you know, the, it's like... Megatron is like the bully, you know, uh, and like I'm sure that exists. Optimus, I bet it's a manga. Optimus Prime has like a crush on uh, on RC. He's just like no, Optimus oh. has a crush on Elita One. You fucking rube. I, okay. um, <laughs> <laughs> this is that this is that this is that bullshit I've been talking about. Yeah. This is that this is that bullshit right there uh -huh, is what uh -huh, we're talking about. Uh -huh. Don't do it, Will do Jack. It. Um oh there we go. I gotta do it. So um, um <laughs> a legal one. And then like maybe the principal is one of the quintessons. Oh and that he's would, that like, track. like uh homework or detention. <laughs> and it's like chuck, 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 detention, detention. <laughs> and oh, like, I like oh that. no. 
I liked uh, that was a thing is like in Cups this like a 17 year old who sells them like Energon buys Energon <laughs> for them <laughs> like uh, no it would be Nucleon because Nucleon is like the supercharged Energon yeah they're all too young to buy Nucleon uh, I like it and then like the, and then we'd have like their parents like they, they could have Pop Alpha Trion Pop Optimus Prime oh, okay never mind. Uh, and like Mom stupid. Momdimus Prime you something stupid okay. Okay. what did um, you just say to also, me he wouldn't be a Prime he would be or he would still be Orion Pax he's not a Prime Time yet. <laughs> Jeff, you have to find the middle ground. I don't, no, I don't have to. Yes. I don't have to. I'm just looking to make. Uh, I'm just looking to say shit like Momdimus Prime, <laughs> and I don't have to do shit. All right, um, fair enough. <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> Jesus. Because you know that's cool. That's what the kids are into. Sure. Hot Transformers puns is. Uh, yeah, yeah. That's what that. If there's anything. Oh my god. If there's anything the youngs are into, it's uh, hot, hot uh, Transformers puns. Yeah. Yeah. No, yeah. That's what it is. Yeah. Yeah. yeah ab obviously. Ab <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, so I like uh, you know it's funny like uh, whenever there's a thing, Matt, that you're like really really into. Yeah, I feel like I uh, it's like. Um, it's like a half day at Rage Select because I don't like I don't have to come up with as many things. All I have to do is uh, just needle Matt. Yeah, well, no, or, or ask you legitimate questions. Ask me questions uh, and then I'll say something and then you make fun of it. Bow. Bow. That's not what I'm doing. I know. That's or not is what I'm it? doing? Um, no, it's not. Uh, I, I'm I'm just having a good time over here. Right, I'm playing right, this uh, Transformers game. We got RC. We didn't even talk about because we did. We already talked about it. We talked about the fact that we got RC and Wheeljack just running around over here doing their bullshit mm -hmm. um, in the desert. We got two healers now. Yep. Uh, can I... Uh, dun, 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 dun. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to do... Because we played this part, I'm going to do this and do some heals. All right, there you go. <laughs> Have all the healing! Oh, it exploded me with heals. Like, why don't they just give Transformers to, like... Well, okay, you know what is confusing to me all is right. in this time of, like, nostalgia and all this, like, uh, anime shit that is uh -huh. th all the rage, right? Yep. Why don't they, like, bring back what they the, what the Transformers were originally? Like, the the thing, the D Digo Diaclone. Tron or whatever. Diaclone. Yeah. Uh, well, what they did. They did. The Diaclone toys... Are, uh, Look being, at me having ideas that have already been go. done. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, Diaclone was brought back recently in Japan. Okay. Uh, they are so super expensive premium figures. No, like a, like, like a show. Oh. A show. I think they have a web series or something. Boo. Because they did, they did bring they back. They got a Quibi <laughs> <laughs> that, just, that is now canceled because Quibi doesn't exist anymore. Yes. Um, uh, it was... Um, Oh, what was it? Uh, so um, they did bring it back, and they did like a sort of an Optimus Prime type figure. Like, but it, it, it's it's like it's like a they called it like Return of Battle Convoy because that was the original toy. Sure. Um, I remember like they never brought this one over, but there was like a Metroplex sized Diaclone toy. Yeah. They never brought it to the states, mm. but it's like you know it's like the size of a child, <laughs> and. It's it's really cool. I saw it at my friend's place in Tokyo. He um it has a little conveyor belt and you turn the little crank and these little these tiny little pilots go up a little conveyor belt into the cockpit. Okay. And they go inside of it and they line up inside of it so that and, th and then you like you like raise the whole thing so it like goes into battle mode. It's the coolest fucking toy of, of like one of the coolest toys I've ever seen. <sighs> Man, that would have been a really good like j j for Jeff toy as a kid. I oh think. fuck yeah! Yeah. No, I uh, I uh, no. Like if okay. there's one part of my personality I don't talk about as much, Matt, it's the fact that I'm mad at all children <laughs> uh, because uh -huh. they've all got such fucking good toys, mm -hmm. and I know that they're sick of all of them. Yep. And it's like my, it's like how when my dad was a kid, he had like you know a wooden horse and like <laughs> one metal fire engine and like a ball. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, like I'm I'm mad that kids have Heelys. Like uh, that <laughs> that makes me just like furious. Like oh, I've been mean, infuriated man. that the kids had they could just like fucking they got roller skates built into their shit. Like ah oh, god, come on guys. Oh yeah, I'm. I mean, I used to go back back when Toys R Us was around. I used to go to Toys R Us and just kind of look at the stuff that kids are getting now. Oh, and I'm like, fucking kids, man. And I'm like, man, I don't even want any of this stuff, but I want it. Yeah. <laughs> why why does it have to be? 
that once you're old enough to afford any toys, all you care about is getting laid. And when you don't have any money to buy toys, you don't give a shit about getting laid. <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> <laughs> they need to revert. Fuck no. you, God! <laughs> Hold on, I just got to the end of that thought process, uh -huh. and I don't want to... Oh, yeah, yeah. Let's, not, let's not. Let's wrap I mean, it up! Let's okay, wrap it okay, up! Okay, fair enough. Um, so, hey, folks, thanks for watching. In lieu of all the normal stuff this week, I'm going to say go to Amazon and pre-order Jason Murphy's book, Killer Candy. Yeah. Uh, it is only a dollar if you're watching this before Halloween. If you're watching this after Halloween, it is more than one dollar. But, oh. What? Oh, no. What a bunch of bullshit. Some um, shit. Stay back. Uh, oh, God. God and he got RC. a shot. Um, anyway, do that. Yeah. Don't yeah. worry about the other stuff. Go there. Uh, buy Jason's book. Read Jason's book. And this is the most important, well, this is the second most, the most important part is that you buy it and read it. But after that, what's important is leave a review on Amazon. Like, if yeah. you liked it, just go uh, and, and, and like, write, like, I liked it. Four, five out of four stars. <laughs> four out of 12 stars. Whatever. Wait, no. 17 out of four. 18 out of one star. 9,000 out of four. There you go. Yeah. Um, yeah, leave a oh. leave a review. Help Jason uh, uh, get his book. I've read it. It's good. You should read it too. Yeah, do that. Help Jason. Help yourself. You know what do you got? You need to read something. Like read yeah. a book. Read a book. Read books. RC. Also, speaking of books, I'm, I'm sure Matt has some books over at mattfrankart.net that you could buy slash read slash so put I mean, into a Blu-ray player. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, I really like to. But I like to when I want to read, I want to make sure I can put it into a Blu-ray player. Hey, hey, hey. Those gamer movies, they got subtitles, right? They do have That's right. So you're going to be right. reading there, too. So you guys can, uh, the, the new Gamera Blu-ray, uh, uh, well, it's it's not the limited edition. It's a standard edition, which means it's it just doesn't have the books with it. But those are going to be available on, like, Amazon and all that nonsense. Yep. Um, also, if you want more Jason Murphy and Matt Frank, Ooh. go back and check out the commentary that I did with Jason on uh, one of us.net for Frankenstein Conquers the World, and also check out the commentary I did with Jeff on Pacific Rim. Yeah, there's not a lot of reading in that one. No, it's mostly, mostly us just getting drunk. It's us getting drunk and like they go like, cool. Yeah, oh cool. man, it's a robot. Oh, cool. Oh, he used, a, he used a, a boat. He oh. that dinosaur with a boat. Cool. Uh, yeah, that's that's, like that's that's the appropriate response to Pacific Rim. Of course, mm -hmm. that's what that's my, that was my response to Pacific Rim. Yep. Uh, that's it. That's it. Join us back here tomorrow. Make sure to check out the asylum all week. And that's it. Goodbye. Bye. Bye.